So we, we think about 10 to 15% of cancers can be attributed to genes that we can test for in advance that you've inherited. And a lot of them aren't, we can't explain them or they're not genetic. They might be sporadic or, or lifestyle based. Um, so gen- genetics can't explain everything and it, we can't solve all of disease and, and cancer through genetics. And this is an important point because when Bill Clinton spoke about the Genome Project all those years ago, it was kind of framed as this panacea that would solve all disease. And that's one of the things that we've learned over time is that that's definitely not what genomics is. And it shouldn't be thought of as a panacea, like a something that solves everything. And so if you think about a newborn, there are certain rare conditions caused by certain genes that cause a disease that would, would have onset in the first five years of life and be life-threatening. And that that's what we should be testing for in a newborn and that would be in accordance with the principles of newborn screening. So we could be using genomics to detect more of the things that we're currently missing with non-genetic newborn screening. But we wouldn't necessarily have to test for adult onset diseases like cancer and dementia in a baby. Like maybe that's totally inappropriate, actually. 